So what up everyone, Nathan here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to talk about some eSport news as Yahoo Esports just got shut down. An article was published today by Travis Gafford. If you know him, he is one of the most popular public figure when it comes to content creation and interview for esports. He was known to help out double lift into the NA scene. Today he published an open letter or like a statement on the website, which I guess is going to be the last content on this website. Yahoo Sports, so like the media content uh, department is becoming a part of Oath. So from my research, Oath is a Verizon-owned company that takes care of like media and apparently they just don't believe in esports and they want to shut it down. This is very weird because in one side you have an amazing project. Yahoo was an amazing project. They used to do content for League of Legends, Dota 2, CSGO, Heroes of the Storm, Street Fighter 5 mainly, and tons of other games. They had amazing exclusive content, interviews with pro gamers, and it was really interesting. I didn't consume their content on a daily, but it was quality content, and I personally found that it was very successful. Maybe it wasn't, uh, as they have their own players and maybe Yahoo is not that popular. I don't I don't really know the reason. Just Oath this just decided to shut it down. Maybe they want to start again with another team. Maybe they want to start again with like a different uh, approach. But what is surprising is that they actually got to recruit uh, one of the most renowned LPL like Chinese uh, League of League of Legends. Uh, analyst and just content creator called Kelsey Moser. I will just show you her uh, Twitter account right here. She's one of the most popular LPL content creator, well renowned. Uh, she's been writing content for years now on the League of Legends uh, Chinese League. I'm surprised because you know what? Yahoo had an amazing team with like amazing individuals. That could be a project that could have blown up. I'm not really sure why this is happening, but I thought I would just discuss this with you. Verizon, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm pretty sure you're fucking up. Like, esports has never been so big. It's a huge market that keeps expanding, expanding. Now is not really the time of shutting down your esports uh, department when you have such a quality team full of amazing talented individuals. I'm kind of sad to see them go honestly. Uh, I'm sure Travis and Kelsey will find other amazing jobs maybe at ESPN. I know that ESPN eSport is doing some amazing job as well. Uh, the thing that was interesting is that Yahoo was really like a traditional media like they had like if you go to yahoo.com right now you'll see some news about some celebrities about sports about this and that politics and all but it wasn't like uh, it Yahoo was not really known as a sport media. When you see ESPN, ESPN is of course sport. They used to do like they they do NBA, they do uh, NHL, they do like uh, NFL, all that stuff. And they decided to go to the esports ride, right, right? But Yahoo was really innovative because it was a traditional media content creation company, and they decided to create Yahoo esports. So we were like, okay. As a community, this is a great decision. This is great news for us, right? They decided to shut it down, and I think it's really sad. I honestly think they're missing on a big opportunity. Maybe they're trying to focus on their audience. I feel like people who use Yahoo right now are maybe not the gamer demographic in terms of like age or interest. And I actually don't know anyone that uses Yahoo on a daily basis. So that's interesting to think about. If you guys were a Yahoo esports fan, let me know what was your favorite content and why you loved it so much. I'm actually curious to know your opinion about this company and let me know what you think about the decision. Is Oath making the worst decision of their life, shutting down an esports department that is about to that was about to blow up with like amazing talented individual? Or do you think they're going to launch it again maybe in a different route or in a different like vision or anything or just do you think that they just had to do it because the demographic uh, and the yahoo users are not really interested in esports and they couldn't just drag uh they didn't have a lot of traction i mean it's hard to see how many views a video had in their platform so it's always hard to say but still like the content is really really good like if you spend a minute watching some league of flash news they have exclusive interviews as well but i'm not going to repeat myself so that was it for today's news. I felt like I had to do a video about this because it's really important. I think one year ago I actually did a video about the announcement of Yahoo Esports and how I was excited about it. And I'm really, um, I'm really sad to see them go. I think it's really uh, unfortunate. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you like, uh, if you like more content. I do post daily now, so expect to see more gameplay and more video like this. And also. 
Let me know something you didn't like about this video so can, I can make sure I can change it for the next one and get better at this YouTube thing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Bye.